hello everyone so today I'm going to be talking about teeth and specifically my teeth so I'm gonna be talking about the entire experience the braces the headgear the spacers the retainers how I started when it ended whitening um, I'm gonna show you my retainers um, I'm gonna show you some stuff and talk about my thoughts, my opinions, and my experience. So, it all started when I was in grade four, so I was about nine years old, and I was getting my teeth cleaned, and then this very strange man came in and started talking about my teeth and how they were crooked and how we can make them straight and all this stuff. And as a nine-year-old girl, it was very overwhelming and especially because braces are painful and I don't do pain very well so of course as it was overwhelming and all this stuff I wasn't very happy and I started to cry because I am a drama queen so basically he said what he had to say and I went home for a couple weeks and decided myself if I wanted braces or not. Be okay, so after I had time to think about, um, no lipstick? Okay, good. Um, so after I had to think about if I wanted braces or not, and my mom, I was really scared and worried about the whole situation, and my mom definitely reassured me that Getting braces is completely and 100% your choice. Um, I feel like a lot of people say, like, I had no choice because I don't even know. Braces is 100% completely your choice, decision. You're the one paying. I mean, absolutely, they can come in and explain. Oh my god, my face is itchy. Um, Yes, they can come in and explain, like, what braces is and all this stuff, but they can't make you get it. I mean, they can definitely suggest it, suggest it, and push it on you, but I mean, in the end, it's your mouth, and you definitely have a say. After a while, I came to the conclusion that I wanted braces because I was very, um... What's the word? I wasn't insecure, but I cared about how people look at me. And your smile is something that people look at all the time because it's one of the first things that they see. So I decided to get braces. So after I decided to get braces, I was still kind of losing my teeth because I was nine years old. And my orthodontist wanted to pull one out but he decided not to because it was wiggly and it was going to come out so after that tooth fell out um i got blue spacers and i believe that those are the little elastics that go in on your little bracket i think that's what they were but i'm not really sure but they were called spacers anyways and i had four of them because i had like a cap thing on my four molars for my headgear and I need space between those teeth for the caps to fit onto. Um, I only had those for probably like two weeks but those were kind of challenging because they could like pop in and out all the time and then you have to like stick them back in and anyways. Um, so after I got that I had my first retainer for quite some time. I had it for grade six. So this, hopefully this isn't disgusting, but this is an informative video for you guys. And this is what like my teeth looked like. So as you can see, my, the back of my mouth was very wide and then the front, the front of my teeth were very like straight across. So on top of this really straight, my four straight teeth, my four very straight teeth, I had an overbite, a severe overbite, so I had to get headgear on top of that. Um, for my first retainer, I had to wear this for um, every day except for meals. So after my retainer, 
I got my headgear, and I don't have my headgear now, obviously, because I don't need it. And prices are going to vary between where you live and who you, who your orthodontist is. So, yes. This is the headgear box thing that I received. It looks like a movie case, and to be completely honest, that's what I thought it was when I first got it. I'm just covering up um, his name and stuff. So here it says to like bring toothbrush, toothpaste, head headgear, elastics, retainer. So in this box, I obviously had my retainer, my headgear, and I also had wax. And when you get braces or headgear, you're always going to get wax. This is what the wax, wax looks like. So basically, if your um, braces or anything are digging into you, then you just pop this on one of your teeth or wherever it's bugging you. And then I also have these, which are um, for flossing. Um, and then on top of that, you got like a little pamphlet. So you get orthodontic problems and orthodontic hygiene. I had my headgear for about, I don't even know, um, a year, maybe. Um, out, out of braces and headgear, headgear is much more painful because it's pulling your entire front, um, all your front teeth back. So when you're wearing it, it's like this and it's like super, super painful and you can only move your head like this. Like you can't like turn it like this. So, oh my God. Um, something that I definitely recommend is my ortho guy said every night when you go to sleep and honestly listen to what your ortho guy says because I actually got mine off earlier than he thought because I was listening to his instructions um also did I wear it every single night no so some days I would give myself a break from it from not wearing it every single day but don't get me wrong I still wore it a lot okay so I'm gonna quickly go into the ortho problems um, pamphlet here this is what I had so you have your braces I had the elastics as well at the end and then you have your little cap things for the um, headgear to fit into so obviously all your ortho people are gonna say like don't chew gum don't eat corn on the cob um, don't eat anything hard sticky crunchy blah 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 but I mean we, we never listen to that okay um, did I chew gum yes did it get stuck in my braces sometimes um, something too hard like corn on the cob I would stay away from if you cut the corn off the cob then that works um, like but eating apples um, I would definitely like chop those because you can't eat an apple with braces. When you play sports, you are supposed to wear a mouth guard when you have braces because um, if someone hits you in the face, then your braces could totally like ruin like your mouth. <laughs> so. so the brackets of your braces, a little elastic goes around those for tightening your braces which I thought was so weird because I did not think that that's how they tighten braces by taking off your old elastics and then putting on new ones but holy crud moly your teeth are are in, in pain but they're definitely like sore and tender for probably a couple days could things get stuck in your teeth yeah um I would suggest a travel toothbrush I mean you never know if something is going to get stuck in your teeth um, and the um, stuff to floss with I showed you the little blue things those go in through the wires so you can floss okay so this is kind of what headgear looks like 
This part goes into your mouth, the part that he's brushing, and then this part hooks on to the thing that wraps around like your neck. Hey, sorry about that guys, my camera died, so I'm using my old one, just because I want to get this video done for you. So I was talking about braces. So I had my headgear for a year, and then during that time I also got my braces, so if you can ever imagine, both of those together can be very painful. Um, and then once I had my headgear taken away, thank God, um, I was obviously left with my braces. So I had my braces on for two, two and a half years. Um, I got my braces off just before my grade 8 graduation. Thank God. Oh, and just so you guys know, personally for me, I found putting my braces on for the first time more painful than taking them off because after three years or however long that you have them, it's only, like, natural for you to understand that they're there but when they're being put on it's like the weirdest feeling ever and they're sore and it's just different but taking them off was beautiful because I mean they do have to scrape the glue off but no big deal um so yeah I will try to post pictures and stuff um I hope that this video isn't too like scatterbrained. I was going to like write everything down, but then I figured that I should just wing it. Hopefully that works out. Um okay, so braces, braces. I mean, overall my braces experience was fine, I guess. I mean, don't get me wrong, I would not want to do it again. <laughs> so after I got my braces off, I actually didn't even know that I was getting them off, and that's something that I praise my ortho for, because I know a lot of ortho guys nowadays, they tell you, oh, well, you're going to get it off in a month, and then you go and you have them on for an extra three months or something. No. My orthodontist didn't tell me when I was getting them off, so it wasn't like a pissed off moment or um, discouraged or disappointed or anything, I just got them off and I was so excited. So after I got them off, I was informed that I had a cavity and let me just tell you something, okay? It was not my fault. Um, I will show you the picture again. This camera doesn't really focus so hopefully you guys saw it before. This picture, the brackets that were for your headgear, um, one of mine didn't bond properly, so I got a cavity from it. And can you imagine that it was under a bracket, so I had absolutely no way of getting to it, A, and B, it was their mistake. <laughs> um, it was the bottom the bottom molar. Yep. So, I mean, something like that is, like, super, super annoying, especially because it's my first cavity ever, ever. <laughs> um, I was, like, really, I was crying, yang, okay? Crying. And I actually put on laughing gas. <sighs> was that ever an experience? <laughs> um, I actually mentioned that in my 50 random things about me tag if you want to go see that. After my brace is taken off, obviously you get a another retainer. Um, and I'm actually going to get another one or he is going to fix this one for me. Um when I go to see him in June. Which is actually super super weird because I haven't seen more my orthodontist guy since I had my braces taken off almost six years ago, so it will be really interesting to see him. And he was a hard ass, but like he did a great job because my teeth are still really, really straight, even though obviously they shifted a bit because I haven't been wearing my retainer. Um, but I mean, overall, like, great, great job. So this is my current retainer. So as you can see, it's all the way it's supposed to be. 
I'm going to be talking about like aftercare of braces and why mm. it's and why it is a long-term process. What the, the second you decide getting braces, you are like locked and loaded. I mean, it's not it's not a one-time deal. I mean, you have to choose. So obviously, I have a removable top retainer and I have a permanent bottom retainer. I had the choice of either having removable permanent or both. Obviously I have both. Um, now a big problem with having permanent ones is sometimes I'm lazy and I don't always want to clean it. But the thing is, is you have to because there is so, like, if it's permanent there's so much plaque that can build up down there, but seriously it's super annoying. Do I do it all the time? But I should, yes, but I don't. Bad. Shame on me. Um, so that's one thing why you need to kind of... Why you need to um, understand that this is a long-term process. And then if you even have a permanent top retainer, then you also need to clean that one. Um, the downfall about having a removable retainer is the fact that we don't wear them. There's a worry, like, are you going to have braces again? Because I know a lot of people have to get braces again because they didn't wear the retainer. Thankfully, my teeth are still really straight, and I am super grateful that my ortho person with bad reputation for being a dick but to be completely on to be completely honest I was nine years old when I had him and yes he was a little bit scary but at the same time he's there to help you and like I said I still have straight teeth because of him so I mean what can I say if you have any questions please 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 comment down below. I'm trying to, this is a long ass video, but I'm trying to kind of explain stuff. Okay, so moving on quickly to um, whitening. This is what I use to whiten. This is from my dentist. Now, I got this for free, and if anyone knows about whitening, it can be expensive, so I'm not exactly sure why I got it for free, to be completely honest with you. I'm pretty, sorry, my camera is shaking because I'm moving everywhere. Um, I'm pretty sure the reason why I got this for free was because I had my braces off for five years and I asked about it. So if you don't ask, then they won't give it to you. I don't really know. You're going to have to ask your people. So basically, it comes with your instructions. I have the 11% whitening and I am supposed to wear this for, I only use this whitening when my teeth are super super stained because I do drink coffee and tea, not all the time, but uh, my teeth stain really 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 easy. So. I use this whitening when I really need to whiten, like, like a lot of whitening. So basically this says you have to use this two to three weeks to see a stable result. Um, tooth sensitivity may occur. Do not overload the tray. It tastes like poo. Don't do it. Um, and you're not even supposed to eat it, so. The first time, actually the first couple times before I got the hang of this, I probably ate a lot of it. I had two syringes like this. Obviously, you can see I only have that much left. I have to hold mine like this when I do it because it's just easier to control how much you push out. Because So I obviously have my trays. I have my top and bottom trays, and as you can probably not see, 
you are just supposed to put a little dot in each cavity and most people don't know this but don't put it in the center because if you think about it the center of this will be right there the ridges of your teeth and you don't want that you want it on the top so you have to put your um oops you have to put the whitening in and around here on the top on this one not down below because then it's not doing anything for you um to touch up i just use the crest white strips and i use them today this one is 3D White Strips 5 Minute Strips um, Stain Shield. Removes stains from coffee, wine, and smoking. I don't drink wine and I don't smoke, but I do drink coffee and tea. And on top of that, my teeth just stain easy. Like I've said, 50 times. So, it's just this. And you can't even see it. I'm so sorry. Anyways. Um, so, I don't really know how many are in here. Oh, 28 and you are supposed to use this once a day for until they're out. So, try to think of everything that I need to say. Um, if not, it will be linked down below or on Twitter. I will post pictures on Twitter. If you have any questions at all about something that you wanted to know about my experience or just a general question, let me know. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and I love you. Bye. So, oh my god, she says my boyfriend is blowing up my phone. Blah 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 blah